we've had another contact form update on Squarespace and this one is really, really nice. This focuses on more so the UI on our side as a designer or a website editor. But there's one small tweak that they've made to the first part of the form, which I think you're really gonna like. So I'm gonna talk you through both of these main changes now and go through an example. So the first thing that we wanna do is obviously put our contact form in. So I've started up a new template. Let's just pop a page layout and then we'll pick contact. And then we're gonna get one with a form in here. So we'll say contact and then what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll click edit. Now you can see already this, this contact form is pretty stacked. But if we now double click on it, I'll drag this over here and you can see sort of the changes on your right and then what I'm doing on the left. So the first off is we're gonna give it a give it a name. So we'll just say contact, um, contact form and then contact for the page. But in text, you can just do submit, whatever, and then the form field. So in the old contact form editor, you had to click, I believe, up here on like edit, and then you were able to move these about. Now it's just direct, and then you can click in and make the edit. It's, it's a much simpler UI. Now within there, you can obviously give it the label, which is up top, and then a description beneath, and then you can toggle or untoggle required, and then you can also hit delete. So that's that. You can also delete it from here. This is just so much better in terms of um, usability. So that's great. Now, if we go into the design, this is where things have changed a little bit. So form style, we can select, you know, as we as we used to have. Or, well, this is a kind of recent-ish update. But anyway, that's the same. Button style, that's going to change down here. So if I go down here, you can see. I mean, there's not much difference on this template, but that's that. Then your alignment. So you can have left, right, central, or what I like, which is um, the full width. Then what we have is this. So first input highlight. Now this is, this is what made me make this video because I was like, oh, this is really, really cool. I'll quickly show you an example of a client website that I have at the moment and how I've implemented it on theirs. So I'm currently building out this site for a client. Um, if we scroll down here, it was actually on their site. How cool is this, by the way? Anyway, it was actually on their site that I found this. So it's as I was, as it was um, fiddling about with design. And if you look, you've got your contact form here, but then you've got this really subtle ring going around that's just going to entice users. Maybe it's like, half a percent more but either way it's going to entice them even if it is half a percent more to actually submit in the contact form so i think this is a really really nice touch so anyway i discovered it on here and i was like i've got to make a video on this now if we go back to our contact form and then we go to the first input highlight we're going to get this so this is the one ring going round. it's almost like if you remember the snake game back on the old school knockers it's like that i like that one but then you've got two which is you know two snakes going around, and then you've just got this, which is a thick bar on the first one that pulsates, which is really cool. So they're all actually very nice, to be fair. And then all of this is similar, I believe, to um, to what we, we had in the last update. So that's that. The two main things that I really wanted to sort of get out there is the highlights, because this is really, really cool, and then the actual content has now changed in terms of how we how we edit things. So contact forms have had one amazing update and now they've added to it with a second amazing update. So when you're doing your forms on your Squarespace website or if you're doing it for a client website, I would suggest if maybe you know you were doing it prior to the updates, go back in, do the contact forms because you're gonna be able to have way more control over those forms. Even something like the sign up for news and updates, that's huge. So we've been um We've been treated well by Squarespace on these updates. So hopefully that's shone a light on that for you. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.